Welcome to this video on how to remove footage from a video recorder. This is an MVR. First, we've got two ways that we can log on. First one is just right click anywhere on the screen. On the mouse on the right hand side, click once. Go down to the start menu. Go to login and enter your password. In this case, I don't have one, so I'm just going to press login. Now to log out, I right click on the screen go down to the start menu, go across to where it says log out, left click and I'm logged out. And I know that I'm logged out because the icons up here have now been greyed out. The other way to do it is to go up to the start menu, which is the icon that's uh, highlighted, go to login, menu pops up, enter your password and press login. I don't have one, I'll just press uh, login. Now I'm logged in, I can see the icons have gone up. I can right click and go to the top icon here where it says playback I'm going to zoom and uh, I'll just left click that <clears throat> okay so we come to the playback screen here I just want to quickly show there are four squares four positions for cameras on the bottom here we've got our cameras that we're going to one two and three or whatever we're going to choose all of these uh, messages here uh, such as uh, rewind, play, stop, fast forward, slow, frame, snapshot, backup, full screen, volume. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. On this side here, we've got all of our cameras. I know that I've got some footage on this test DVR on camera 8, so we'll be having a look at camera 8. This is our month. It's highlighting here in red that there's some video footage available on the 11th, 12th and 13th. It's now the 29th. I'm going to go to camera 8 and I'm going to click so this uh, red's just showing up here because it is the 29th. I'm going to go to day 12. Now I want to show you the difference here. So at the moment I'm just looking at one camera. So one camera is displayed here and it says channel 8. I come along my timeline. That's my cursor there starting at 000 hours coming all the way to uh, 24 hours we have some footage in this line and some footage here now this can display four cameras at once so if I had another camera ticked it would then be on the next line down and the footage would appear now I'm going to click over to day 12 to show you the difference I just click here day 12 now as we can see right here that the footage this line is all all got footage in it up to 24 if I click the 13th day, okay, so I've got a little bit of footage there at 12 o'clock at night, uh, 2 a.m. in the morning on the 13th, there was nothing, all the way there is nothing there. So I'm now going to go back to the 13th, uh, sorry, to the 12th. Okay, I'm going to have a look at my footage. I think the incident happened at uh, 1400 hours, so I'm going to just use my mouse here and I'm going to click on the 1400 and bring the timeline to there. And I've got some footage there, it's looking at the roof. So I can fast forward by pressing fast forward. So you can have a look at the time at the bottom right hand corner. I press fast forward a number of times, it will go faster. Uh, see if I can zoom in there. So we can just see that there are seconds that are skipping over. Right, I'm going to press stop. I've now found the video footage that I want to um, to put onto USB. Okay, so now I've uh, inserted my USB into the front of the recorder. The next thing I must do is go to here and I press backup. A screen appears. This section here is asking us which camera to back up. This is asking us from the from date and the to date. So when the first bit of footage I wanted to start from and where I want it to stop. I'll just enter these details. Okay, so I've clicked the top icon here, number eight. What I've done is I've grabbed my mouse and I've highlighted, I'm going to highlight the 29. And I'm going to come across here and use my down arrow, use my up or down arrow, and I'm going to go to the 12th. I'm going to do the same for the time, just highlight that 
it says 0, 0, go to 14, or whatever time yours is. <coughs> okay, I've just uh, entered in my date and my time uh, from and to, so I'm going to go from uh, 2015, the 6th of the 12th, uh, backwards format here, uh, 1400 hours to 1401 and 59 seconds. Now I've, met, I've put my USB in there, I'm going to hit refresh, okay so now it's showed up, I've got a USB there, temporary USB, SSBD1, I want to change my file format to AVI, because I want to view this on my PC and I'm going to I'm going to press start which is down here this is the progression menu press start it's starting to do it now it's only 59 megabytes so you can see that uh, it's very quick if I were to do a 24 hour period it'd be longer it's now finished I'm going to dismount my USB by pressing dismount and it gives me a confirmation message there Okay, now I can remove my USB. Okay, so what I've done is I've put my USB into my computer and I've transferred the video file over to uh, my videos. I just double click on it and there we have the footage now playing on my PC. And that's all there is to it. Thank you. Just one other thing, uh, Media Player will play the videos in AV, AVI format or you can download VLC player uh, from Google and that's another player that is uh, widely used. Thank you.